Hello and welcome back to the channel friends, it is great to be here and I hope you're doing well. So today I bring to you some more Heroes Warband and we'll be playing around with a little something something here today. So you probably noticed the Cavaliers out here on the field. So we're going to be using the Cavaliers today and the reason I want to use the Cavaliers, not because they're strong but I'm more compelled by, obviously they're a melee unit, I'm more compelled by their stock attack range of 1.8. So my mind immediately went to, well what happens if we have a boosted attack range build with a bunch of Cavaliers? How strong is it? And can it take us across the finish line? Well we're going to find out here today, my friends. So let's hop on into a new run. And the Cavaliers being humans, I think it would only make sense for them to want to slay their undead foes, right? The soulless, the heartless, the fleshless. So let's go, humans versus undead, or more like Cavaliers versus undead. Let's go! And while we're going here, my friends, smash that like button if you're liking the Heroes Warband here on the channel. We'd be happy to keep doing runs, of course. And also, if you're new here, then please consider becoming a subscriber as well. Join a growing community. Would absolutely love to have you. Thanks so much for spending some time here today. For our first commander level, we're going with attack range. I want to see... I mean, honestly, I envision this like our Cavaliers standing over here and attacking the enemies over here. Like, I want to see how crazy it gets. So we're going to be doing a little bit of experimentation here today. So attack buff, for sure. And we can actually increase attack range as well. Yeah, we're going all in on this. I want to see how this does. And I want to get away from these charging skills because... It's going to put them into melee range, essentially. My vision, my goal here is... To basically have a line of Cavaliers destroying the enemy before they even get to us. We'll kind of see what endgame looks like if we get there. Let's go. Alright, more attack range. Yep, you bet. So it looks like we have Zahn, Snow, and Jay. Pretty typical names, especially Jay. Let's see which one turns out to be our stud. We will certainly have one. Another thing I like about the Cavalier is it, of course, has a mythic form. Not all units you can recruit have a mythic form, but well, the Cavalier does. Really cool looking sprite. Looking forward to getting that implemented as well. We got Jay as the round MVP. 310 damage and 9 kills. Excellent. Alright, so we have the Windstrider, Martyr, and Boomsmith. We have some leg guards. We have some melee weapons. Now, these melee weapons, they can increase attack range. Okay, so I'm definitely going to be looking closely at that. Let's see, who do we like the best? I mean, this guy has double slash. And this is Jay, the MVP from last round. So let's kind of go in on Jay here. And let's look for accoutrements and equipment options that will boost our attack range. Let's go ahead and re-roll this. This will lower attack speed. I suppose that's okay. We're not really doing an attack speed build. You already know what we're doing here. Attack range. So let's go ahead and grab this as well. Let's throw this on Jay. And I think Snow is the next most useful Cavalier here with the attack upgrade buff. So let's go ahead and call it good there. Get back out on the battlefield. Alright, more attack range. And you can kind of see it in effect here. <laughs> There's like an invisible barrier that the uh, enemy just kind of runs into. I think we're going to have some fun with this one here today. Alright, so we have Heaven Strike and Crit Buff for Snow here, who already has the attack buff. So let's go with Heaven Strike, that's a really good one. And let's witness the attack range growing here. So 2.3 now. Looks like attack damage went up as well. Okay, so we have Blink, which is a movement skill, of course. So let's do Life Steal Buff. Man, Zan really needs some help here. In the skills department, anyways. I mean, it's kind of goofy, a melee unit having attack range. I don't know if anybody messed around with Warcraft 2 back in the day, but, you know, you can make your own maps. And they made it real easy to sort of adjust the statistics of each character, right? Like the Troll Axe Thor, the, the Grunts, or the Footmen, what have you. And you could actually edit the attack range. And I remember messing around with that as a kid, of course. And editing, and basically giving melee units max attack range. It's kind of a reflection of that, I suppose. So Lifesteal, I think we're good on all of this. Let's seek a few promotions. Ragged Club, greatly lowers attack speed. Got some more legs and armor. I think Snow needs some armor, right? Zan needs some armor, so let's go ahead and grab that. Got Acolyte's Leggings. We'll grab it just because we're devoid of decent gear at this point. 
Amulet of the Serpent. I think that can be useful for Jay. And then Snow is our next in line. So let's go ahead and re-roll again. Got some rusty leather legs. I believe I do need another set of legs. I do. So let's go ahead and throw that on Zan. Alright, let's re-roll. See if we can maybe get a promotion. Actually, these guys are already adept. So I think we have to get past the first boss. And then we'll start seeing more elite units show up. And also we have George Castellan. The sponsor. Melee damage 16%. So... Yeah, the Cavalier is just a very, very strong unit, but let's see how we do against the first boss, Eldrick. And it's just a beatdown here, my friends. However, our horseback units do spend some time on the battlefield laying down, stunned. Jay, yet another MVP bid for the big man. Let's go. So Adept Warden Greaves. Definitely an armor upgrade. Thunderstrike Band. I'm going to keep my eyes out for things that increase attack range, of course. And look at this. We have a promotion. Jay, get promoted, buddy. And we have the nice-looking elite sprite there. Definitely more of an armored knight. That full helmet, right? Put that thing down and go jousting. Absolutely. Put the visor down. We got another promotion here. How about snow? Get promoted. And we got another long sword. This will be useful. So let's throw this on Jay. Longsword does increase attack range, of course. We throw this on Snow. And we have Rusty Leather Armor, or... The more proficient at keeping you alive, Apprentice Chainmail. I think we can go for a little more attack speed. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and get back on the battlefield here. No reason to re-roll when there's so few choices left in the shop. And we're starting to see this attack range sort of... Manifest itself, right? I mean, look at them. There's a bunch of distance between the Cavalier and the unit it's attacking. Fun stuff. And it looks like that Skeletal Mage is uh, whipping out some magic. That's terrifying. Might have to put a few ticks in uh, HP regen. Here we go. Double Slash for Zan. He finally gets an offensive skill. You love to see that. And it looks like we're getting plus 0.2 per upgrade. So 2.5. We have Wind Stab or Frozen Blade. Let's go with Frozen Blade. Hit that attack range, you bet. So we have the Elite Attack Upgrade or Elite Heaven Strike. Definitely Elite Heaven Strike. And 2.7 is the attack range now. I think this is going to get all kinds of goofy here, my friends. And I'm looking forward to it. Alright, so we get some coin in the bank. 54 gold. Get a couple of Valor points as well. That's nice. And we got some more promotions. So we have Xan here. Absolutely. Get promoted, Zen. I think we can add another Cavalier pretty comfortably. It'll help with the uh, the sponsorship bonus. Look at that. 36% melee damage increase. That's crazy. We have the Ragged Short Sword, which does not increase attack range. So let's go ahead and re-roll this in search of maybe some better gear. So attack speed, attack damage. Yeah, we can take this. I think we need some more weapons anyways. Adept Warden Greaves, we have another Cavalier promotion. Let's definitely do it. Lorne, welcome to the team and get elite, buddy. Let's go ahead and grab the Warden Greaves. I'm fine with that. And let's find a worthy bearer of the new armor purchase. So we've got Snow and Jay. I think Xan is a fine recipient of the short sword there. I think we can sell this. Actually, let's hold on to it. We might add another Cavalier. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, look at this. It's kind of crazy. Really excited to see what happens when we have like five range, six range on them. If we can get there. I'm going to invest as much as I possibly can in attack range. Messing around with some max attack range on melee units is fun. Let's hit it again. Looks like there's like a knockback effect as well. And the line actually holds pretty strong there. I must admit. All right. We have thrust skill and we have bloodlust. Let's go with bloodlust. And of course, attack range. No question about that one. Falcon slash or thorn shield. Let's do falcon slash. Attack range, you bet. Another falcon slash. I think we can get rid of stealth in favor of falcon slash. Zan here agrees, he told me. 
All right, so that HP regen. Might need to uh, hit that with a uh, commander upgrade. And we have Jay just shining above the rest. Another MVP bid, 1,900 damage there for Jay, but, you know, Zan is close behind at 17. Lauren's got a ways to go yet, but he's only level 3. We'll give him a break. All right, we have battle-tested gauntlets, ragged short sword. None of this is really inspiring. We have another cavalier. Yeah, let's bring him aboard. Now we're at 48% melee damage. Frozen ember ring, attack damage up. Yeah, we can purchase that. We've got Clint. Welcome to the team, Clint. So let's sell the Oval's Ring. It's just a good way to make some money. Frozen Ember Ring. I think we're going to throw this on Jay. Absolutely. We have Zan here. Yeah, we can do that. Lauren, you can get equipped. We have the Veteran's Iron Gladius. Attack speed down, but attack damage way up and stun chance. I mean, I don't hate it. We can throw it on Lorne. Let's sell these two bows. Got 72 gold to kind of play around with here. Look at this. Ironclad Greaves. Does lower your attack speed, but plus 40 defense. 35 max HP. Plus some stun chance. Yeah. We'll be buying that for sure. And let's go ahead and get some promotion. So Clint. Get promoted. Well, actually, no. We got Mythic tier now. Okay. So Jay. Of course, we have the iconic Mythic Cavalier Sprite. You gotta love that Sprite. Just very noble, very knightly. Absolutely, and it looks like we can get Clint a promotion here too. Very effective turn. We're rolling with a very elite band of Cavaliers here, my friends. So let's go. Got a boss fight. Looks like we have an undead rider, and then I believe that is the Lich, I want to say. Who summons things. Let's go. Alright, the Undead Rider comes just busting in. And we actually do take a pretty big hit there. Clint definitely has his survivability tested. So I think I might need to get another hit into HP regen. Maybe. Alright, another promotion. So another mythic unit to be added. It's going to be snow this time. Boom. Get mythic snow. That's what I'm talking about. Looking good. Looking nightly. So we can hire and promote. I think I'm going to hire both. Actually, no. Let's let's keep them promoted. We have the Eternal Frost Band here. Attack range. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for right here. So this will probably be one of the amulets that we really go in heavy on if we can find a bunch of copies of it. Eternal Frost Band. You love to see it. We have the Ragged Longsword. I actually might want to look at purchasing that. So let's throw this on you. Attack range at 3.34J. So how about Snow? He's got... Yeah, let's get him this because it's just better. We got Vor, the newcomer. How about Clint? He's got a little more seniority. Ragged Longsword. Let's see. I think I do need that. Yeah, we need some more weaponry. So Clint, get equipped. And let's get back on the battlefield here. They're definitely a little more advanced. All right, I want to keep my eye on Jay and see kind of like where he's attacking from, right? Like what is 3.3 range exactly? Definitely fun stuff. I mean, you already see it in effect here. Our Cavaliers are like a big snowball of punishment and death. I think we're holding up relatively well, so I'm going to go with attack range. Going to just bolster it as much as possible. In fact, if we take a few losses, I'm okay with that. I want to see how crazy the attack range actually gets. So double slash or falcon slash. Let's go with falcon slash. I'm okay with that. It's an adept skill anyways. So lifesteal buff. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Attack range, you bet. 3.1 now. Wind stab. I think I'm good on the wind stab, although it is adept. Yeah, let's do this. And 3.4 for Jay up to 3.6. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I'm excited for this. And if you're excited too, my friends, then smash that like button and become a subscriber if you're new here. We'd greatly appreciate that. 
Like I said in the intro, thanks for spending some time here today. Really do appreciate that. I hope you're enjoying. So another MVP bid for Jay, of course. And we got some more promotions to dish out here. So Zan is the next up. So let's get him. Absolutely. And we have Lorne, it looks like, is the next up. So Lorne, get promoted. Absolutely. All right, Eternal Frostband. Here's another one of these rings that we're kind of targeting. Absolutely. So let's do that. Let's give it one reroll. Okay, we have some magic weapons. I think I'm going to just leave it there. Let's get Snow equipped with the Eternal Frostband. 3.6 attack range now. And next up is going to be... Zan. So get that on. Does everybody have a ring? Nope. Vor, you need something. Let's sell this. And let's move on. Alright, here comes another wave. And they can't even get close. They just disintegrate before they can. We got two available upgrades here for our pal Clint. Obviously both into attack range. Yeah, the enemy is just evaporating before they can even get in close, which is hilarious for a melee unit. But I guess if you uh, can kind of visualize, maybe the lance or the spear of the cavalier is just really, really, really long. <laughs> maybe. Alright, so more attack range. We're at 7. So let's get that up to 8. And then beyond. Okay, this actually might be... The new overpowered way to destroy this game. Maybe. It kind of feels like it. I mean, the waves aren't really doing anything. Obviously, we have a good sponsorship. That is certainly helping us do a bunch of damage. But it's more of the, the range. They just can't get up on us to do damage. So, Jay, again, the MVP. Although the damage gap certainly is lessening, isn't it? 16 kills there for Jay. All right, we have another promotion available. So Clint or Vor, who do we like better? Clint with the Falcon Slash. Vor has three useful skills. So let's do Vor. Get promoted. And what do we have? We have the Stalwart Aegis Mill. It's going to lower attack speed. That's quite okay. I think I like Jay having the more agile armor on. So who's going to get this elite piece of armor? Let's give it to Zen. Bronze Leaf Short Sword. We have Ironclad Leg Plates as well. Let's give that to Zen. His attack speed will certainly take a hit, but that's okay. Let's get Vor some actual equipment. So he's not going in with the breeze, if you will. <laughs> and let's go ahead and reroll. Amulet of the Silent Forest. This is crit chance and dodge chance. We've got another promotion here. So, Clint, welcome to the party. Got the Enigmatic Band, which does dodge and move. I mean, lifesteal, crit chance, dodge chance. I mean, everybody's all ringed up, but this is actually a pretty good amulet to get. So, let's go ahead and give this to... Let's see. We've got Jay and Snow. Let's give it to Zan. He's kind of like our next in command, beyond Jay and Snow. I think that one's a little bit better. Let's go ahead and sell it. And back on the battlefield we go, we have the Wraith boss here. Definitely a character that dodges, so let's see how we do with this. I wonder if he's going to rush in on us. Nope, he does not. And look at this. We sort of just repel him. This is funny. It's kind of going like I envisioned. Jay gets another level up. 3.8 attack range now. A thorn shield. I think I'm good on that. Attack range though for Zen. No big deal. Zen with the MVP bid. His first MVP bid. Golf clap for Zen. Let's go. Alright, so this is the ideal item. Attack range plus 0.4. Um, Yes. Certainly want to stock those. We have some Masterwork Leather, which... Yeah, that's an upgrade for a lot of the stuff that we're currently rocking. We can bring aboard another Elite Cavalier, so let's certainly do that. 
And what do we have? Plus 100% melee damage increase. Because of Mr. George Castellan. Increases attack range for all heroes as well. Or so says the tooltip. That doesn't appear to be in effect. But yeah, Jay, get this equipped. 4.1 now. Okay. I'm really interested to see how this snowballs. Actually, I think... So you can definitely have that sword Dran, but... Let's get this more useful armor on someone like Lorne, who's a little more irreplaceable. Let's throw this on you. All right, looking good. I mean, we could re-roll. Can bring another Cavalier aboard. We've got a Soul Blade. Whoa. Okay, yes. We're definitely grabbing that. Snow, get equipped. All right, very nice. We'll certainly take the Soul Blade. We'll lock up the Cavalier. We can add him perhaps next round, but of course we need an army slot. So let's go. Let's face another wave of... The Vile Undead. This is great. They disintegrate before they even get within melee distance. A dodge buff or war cry. Let's go with the dodge buff. And this fellow right here definitely needs some attack range boost. And he gets a plus 0.4 boost there. Interesting. I thought it was just 0.2. Oh boy. Dren. Okay, he was getting... He's getting hammered on for sure, but he manages to pull himself up off the battle floor. Let's get you an attack skill that stuns. That's useful. Now he gets a plus 0.3 there. So maybe that sponsor does have something to do with it. Increasing the attack range, I guess I'm not sure. It's hard to say sometimes with uh, Heroes Warband here, but that's why we love it, my friends. All right, all kinds of gold there. We've got the Skyfire, a mythic weapon. For a ranger, though. And Jay sits in the MVP seat yet again. Okay, so, we've got another Cavalier. So let's go ahead and add an army slot. Boom. Let's purchase the locked Cavalier here. And we can go ahead and get him promoted right away. Alright, we got Falk. Welcome to the team, Falk. So let's go ahead and sell the Skyfire. we got the Celestial Cascade. We can sell that. And we got Falk, who will take up the Ragged Longsword. Amulet of the Silent Forest. This one's pretty decent. I think we can get this. We're pretty much out of gold. Alright, so Zan, Snow, J. Lorne, get equipped. And just pass your equipment on down to the next. Alright, looking good. Let's get back on the battlefield here. Got wave 11 approaching. Slash or HP buff. Let's go with slash. Plus 0.4 there. Keeping a close eye on this. Elite dodge buff. Yeah. Just might keep you alive. But I mean, our team is like snowballing into like this unstoppable force. Mythic attack upgrade. For our pal Snow here, you bet, we're locking that in, plus two stat points to upgrade. So let's keep an eye on what it actually increases by. Okay, that was point three, and then point two. So it must be a variable amount, who knows, but hitting for 207.7, you can thank the sponsor for that. Effectively doubling our damage output, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. Let's go with this for Zen, another attack skill. Let's hit that 3.9 range. I mean, this is just... It's crazy. I seriously wonder what, like, 6 range looks like. Like, when they spawn in, do they just disintegrate? You know what I mean? We're gonna find out here together, my friends. We're in the low 4s with some of our guys' attack range here. Frozen, Falcon, and Wind Slash. I'm good with all of those. Let's hit attack range, obviously. 3.7 for 4 now. Wind Slash, you bet. Up over three there for Dren, the newcomer. And we have some Golden Lion Leg Guards. Max HP plus 80, burn chance 15. Lowers your attack speed just a little bit, but it's a piece of mythic armor that you just gotta love. You just love when it comes your way. Alright, we have Jay 
Dishing out 4,500 damage. Another MVP bid for the big guy. We have a Mythic Cavalier we could simply just add. I mean, I do that, right? Let's see, can I afford it? I can't quite afford it, but we could certainly lock him up. Let's sell the weapons that we can't use. We have 121 to deal with now. Suppose I could also abandon Falk or Dren. That would be the cheaper approach. However, they are, you know, level 3 and 5, respectively. I think I'll lock up the Cavalier. Seasoned Falcon Blade. It does increase attack range. Okay. So we'll do that. Let's re-roll. Here we go. We've got a promotion. Dren. Looking good in that Mythic. Uh, let's re-roll one more time. We have another Cavalier to hire. So I'm going to lock that up as well. And this is Dodge and Crit. Looks like we need a few rings anyway. So let's go ahead and grab it. And let's see. Lorne. You've got one. So let's get you. And then Falk. Get equipped. Season Falcon Blade. It does increase range. So... Who can be the bearer of the Season Falcon Blade? Probably Zan. Clint can throw that on. And for our Mythic Leg Guards here, let's see. So Jay is obviously our stalwart, our stud. But interestingly enough, I mean, you could make the case that maybe the Ironclad Greaves are just a little bit better. I mean, you can make the case, at least. Max HP, 80. This says 35 and then 40 defense. It is a tier down in elite status. I think it's a fine piece of gear for Snow. And then we can hand the pants on down to Clint. So looking to get Falk equipped with some gear. All right, we got these locked up. We're good to go. Let's go get some more cash. Need to add some army slots. Let's go. And the Fallen is just that. Fallen. Fallen quickly. Let's get Electric Slash and then Attack Range twice, of course. Alright, 130. So we actually do just get enough cash to add this Army slot and then another Mythic Cavalier. So 116% up to 132%, which is absolutely crazy. And we got another one right here. All out of gold, so that's all right. Let's just get back and get some more. Let's go. I mean, Cavaliers might be one of the most OP units in the game. Now, I think we all know the effectiveness of dodge heavy builds, right? You've seen that displayed here on this channel across several videos. But maybe the Cavalier is the way to go. I mean, they are just taking names. They're not even relying on dodge. It's just they're killing the enemies before they get to me. It's like a buzzsaw, right? All right, wind slash. That's wind stab. Let's move off of that for wind slash. And 4.5 attack range for Jay here. Now 4.7. <laughs> This is going to be pretty nutty. Okay, he's at 4 for Snow. 4.2 now. Elite Slash, you bet. 4.1 up to 4.3, you bet. Slash again. Now across the 3 mark. 3.1. Electric Slash. I think we can move off of Bloodlust for Electric Slash. Attack range, you bet. And just consuming the Undead Hordes as they come. I think I'll mess around a little bit in endless mode as well, just to kind of see how viable this team actually is. A pack of Cavaliers certainly does seem strong, and what do we have here, my friends? Well, of course, we have the Chaos Armor. My favorite new armor. It was recently added to the game. 120 HP, lifesteal, crit chance, dodge chance, stun chance, and burn chance. Absolutely insane piece of gear there. The Chaos Armor. You love to see it. We also lock in 100 gold, which is certainly useful. Given these Mythic Cavaliers keep on popping up, don't they? All right, so Jay, get your new armor for sure. Chaos armor. 
Welcome. Lorne, you can take the Warding Greaves. Vor, take this. And then we can just hand that armor on down. In fact, we've got some legs here too. This guy has a whole bunch of nothing, Vex. Veteran's Iron Gladius does not increase range. It does do more damage. I need to save my gold if we're going to add more Cavaliers, though. So let's do that. Let's save the gold. Might be able to make a move following this wave here. Alright, Heaven Strike Wind Stab. I think we can move off a double slash for the Heaven Strike. And of course hit attack range 3.9. We have four level ups for Lorne here. Who's already at three. Maybe we can get him up to four or at least close. Let's find out. 3.9. Love to see it. Alright, stealth or dash for Vex. I suppose we can go stealth. Don't want them uh, blinking around the map because bad things happen. <laughs> Spoken from experience, my friends. Attack range, let's hit it again. You bet. I think I'm good on the wind stab. Attack range up to four. Clint. Again, good on the wind stab, but Jay here, he's going to be the first to hit five. 4.9. For some reason, when I'm uh, increasing the attack range, their damage goes up as well. Is that like a jousting bonus? You know what I mean? Electric slash. Yes. 4.5 for snow. 4.6 for Zan. I wonder why. Sometimes it goes up by plus 0.2. Sometimes it goes up by plus 0.3. Plus 0.4 as well sometimes, right? Double Fiery Slash. We actually might have some more Chaos Armor on the field too. What's this? That's either the Silent Shadow Vestments or Chaos Armor. It's the Silent Shadow Vestments. Still a really good piece of gear. Got the Blazing Sun Ring as well, which greatly boosts attack damage. Just getting all kinds of good stuff here and look at this. The roster is simply just filled with Cavaliers. So let's go ahead and add another army slot and add another Cavalier. We got Falk here who's looking for a promotion. He's level 7, so I'm not going to abandon him, but be nice to get that guy promoted, wouldn't it? So let's re-roll. We got the Morbid Doom. Okay, so attack range increase. A little bit, but an increase nonetheless. So we'll take it going into the boss fight. Two undead soldiers and then the Lich, of course, who summons things. All right, so J, I mean, this maxes out your attack range at plus 0.4. I think it's the most that we're going to get with the melee weapon. So let's pass this on down to Zen. And let's give Zen the Silent Shadow Vestments. We'll allow him to move a little more, with a little more agility, if you will. Stalwart Aegis Mill, that can go on you, buddy. Blazing Sun Ring. Yeah, you can throw that on as well. Throw this on you. You bet. Let's get this. Falk, I mean, we're just... We're in the business of handing stuff down here, my friends. That's just kind of how we do it. That's how we do it around here. Next man up. Handing gear down. And Bryn, welcome to the team. Alright, 28 gold remains. I think we need to find some more gold. So let's get on into the battle. And let's see what this snowball of cavaliers can do. I mean, they just melt. I mean, those are bosses, my friends. And we just melted them. Whispering Wind Talisman. Attack speed, move speed, and dodge chance. Wow. Now that is a piece of gear right there, I tell ya. Alright, so we got Falk, his long-awaited promotion. So, get promoted, Falk. And welcome. We can add another army slot here. We certainly will. Let's recruit this Cavalier. Now we're up to 168% melee damage bonus, which is absolutely insane. Alright, so let's see. Who needs this? I think Zan, you're a fine recipient. Alright, Dren, 
get equipped. Got some newcomers. Bryn, take a ring. We got Matt, but we don't really have much cash. So Matt's going to have to work on staying alive here and I believe we're going into the final wave. Let's go. All right, we have a level up. Bryn. Yeah, get equipped with an offensive skill. We've got Dran here. Elite Heaven Strike. Yes. Frozen Blade. You bet. That was a plus 0.5 bonus there. Did you see that? I don't know why it's different. Or it varies. But I'm also not complaining. Plus 0.5 is a pretty big increase. For these micro stat boosts. And you see Matt there. Definitely taking some damage. A war cry. Or dash. Let's go with War Cry. Although I might live to regret that. Don't be surprised if uh, Bryn falls here. Suppose we'll find out. Electric Frozen or Falcon. And it's Elite as well. So since this slows and so does this, let's go ahead and move off of Frozen for the Wind Slash. And let's get some attack range. You guessed it. Double Fiery Slash Elite, yes. And attack range. And again, attack range at 4.2 now. I wonder what an attack range build with like archers would be like too. 5.2 attack range for Jay. The first unit to cross the 5 threshold. Pretty crazy. All right, here we go. We're going to do, of course, attack range again. And yeah, this is about as crazy as I thought it was going to be. I mean, all in on attack range with the melee unit. And we have the lion's tunic. Very good piece of gear there in the elite category. Vor with the MVP bid. Jay, a distant second, but wow, Vor, really dishing out the damage at 10,000. Whispering Wind Talisman, that's a good one. Eternal Frostband is also a really good one. An army slot's a little too expensive, and I believe we're staring at the final boss here, so let's get geared up, let's get equipped. A Lion's Tunic, Snow, take it. Eternal Frostband. Let's throw that on Lorne, who gets up to 4.5. Got the Whispering Wind Talisman. We can throw that on Clint. Need some more legs, for sure. A Blazing Sun Amulet. Take that. Silent Forest Amulet. Take that. Why don't you take these as well? Okay, Swift Wind Charm. A little bit of dodge. I suppose we can take that. I think I might need to reroll some gear here just to get some legs. We've got one item remaining. So let's go ahead and reroll. Tarnish Iron Dagger. I guess when you don't have a weapon for Matt. A dagger is better than nothing. So that's about it. Let's go ahead and see if we can conquer the final boss, or more like how quickly we can conquer the final boss. Let's go. All right, so King Fell has been felled for sure. Total damage there, my friends. Check that out. 2.7 million. Wow. Just absolute bonkers. Jay, obviously, the, the stud, the chaos armor... Over 5 attack range there. And I think in this particular one we saw just how strong attack range is. And how strong the Cavalier is as well. Especially with a Cavalier team where you get that sponsor that you know multiplies your attack damage. It's pretty insane actually if you think about it. So this was a really fun team to put together. I knew the Cavalier was strong but 
I was really curious about what happens if you just lean into the anomalous stat that the Cavalier has, which is, of course, attack range being a melee unit, right? And obviously, the results are very good, very effective. It works really well. So let's go ahead and jump on into some endless mode with this particular team. I want to see how long we can survive. So we have auto level on. Interesting. I think I probably should do that. I guess we'll see how cumbersome it becomes. Attack damage, slow chance. Army slot, 205. Okay, so if we win this skirmish here, we'll be able to add another army slot, which will, you know, in turn boost our damage. So let's go. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so we got King Fell coming on the board, of course. To be expected. Let's get rid of Stealth for Wind Slash. You bet. Let's turn auto level on. Let's see what that does. I obviously want the ability to choose skills and uh, stat ups, right? Obviously for attack range, but it seems like it's just automatically assigning points. Enable auto leveling for heroes only available on endless mode. And we got a bunch of gold there. Exactly what the doctor ordered. So let's go ahead and get another army slot. Let's add another Cavalier, of course. We're up to 184% damage now. We have the Eternal Phoenix Soul Plate. Very good piece of armor there. Blazing Sun Ring. Yep, you bet. So, Newcomer Zev. Actually, I suppose Matt. He's got a little more seniority. And let's go back to, let's see, Zen. Yeah, take the Phoenix Soul Plate. Lauren, you can throw that on. This is good. So is this. And onward we go. Alright, 1600 gold. Emerald Air Leg Guards. Attack damage, lifesteal, crit chance. Yeah, you bet. Throw those on our boy Jay. So he stays alive. Dran at level 11, finally get equipped with some legs. What do you say? I could hire another Cavalier outright, or we could roll for a mythic one. Got plenty of gold for sure. Yeah, definitely. There's an elite. I will buy the army slot, but let's roll for a mythic one if we can. Here we go. Up to 216% damage now. Okay, things are about to get pretty crazy here, my friends. Wow. <laughs> and I think we have finally met our match. Although Jay, Zan, Vor, and Lorne do exist. Still, snow appears to have fallen. So it looks like the run about ends here. Yeah, we get cut down there. We get cut down. Man, endless mode is very hard without a dodge build. But Jay did the best he could. Definitely the MVP of this run, unquestionably. So total damage here. Looks like 3.2 million is our final sum. A little under 1,000 total kills. 112 items. 29 units. Max wave 19. Good stuff. So let's pop on back to the main menu, my friends, and land this plane. So this has been some Heroes Warband action, of course. I think we learned a little bit more about the Cavalier. I think it's a very, very strong unit. I think going into attack range with a melee unit is goofy and fun. And obviously quite effective. Now, to really kind of put us over the top in endless mode, I mean... You saw what happened, right? The attack range simply just wasn't enough. And the enemy was too tanky and... We're not really built on vitality and survival... The strategy of the team, of course, was simply built on just killing the enemy before they get to you using that superior range. 
So fun stuff as always here, my friends. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button. I'll keep pumping out the Heroes Warband content for you. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of run you want to see. Uh, one individual did mention they want to see a human team run, right? I feel like we've shown a lot of love to the orcs, to the undead, to the demons, and to the void. But maybe not as much love to the humans. Well, obviously we use cavaliers here today, but I was thinking of maybe building a team of just some of these basic human classes that maybe I haven't used, like the vanguard. Maybe we can do like the boomsmith, the huntsman maybe, windstrider. I don't know, maybe an assembly of these units here, or maybe we do a run where all we focus on is just one of each in the Balance Brigade set. I don't know, something like that. That's where my head goes maybe for a future run. But let me know in the comment section below if you have any recommendations. And also, if you're new here and you're still here at the 45-minute mark, then please become a subscriber if you enjoyed yourself. Would greatly appreciate that. Join a growing community. We'd love to have you. And as far as the last announcement here, my friends... So I do have an open Discord that's open to you. If you want to join and stay a little more connected with the community, you can certainly do so. Link in the video description below. We do fun things like community game nights, and we'd love to have you participate. Just join the Discord, come say hi, lots of awesome people there. So with all of that said, my friends, I'm going to get on out of here, but thanks again so much for spending some time here on the channel today, and I'll be catching you in the next video. Thanks a lot.